Mm, let's see, a second for the to kiss the age of butch. Frankly. Let's not get a game. Ciò so se avete accendi tu. Hey, slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk! Oh, hey, okay. you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. No. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man, the feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds, Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns. And, and I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you can A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, oh, or C, try and be really those. stupid and save those mm, two idiot boy, mentors of seven. yours, and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Who's that? Let's Man, fuck you. Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. But boy, I'm a good guy. Not send your valves. Ah, my good at Trevor. B, my good at Michael. C, Dave Fish. Hola, Lista. Wait a minute, can you say it? Franklin? Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I'll, all right, I'm coming. So many of that stuff. Yeah. Finale.
What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But, you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other well, motherfucker wants me to kill Michael Trevor. Michael. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? Oh, Steve like Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from Jewish. the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. Oh. All right, all right. I say... Kill Michael. What the kill Michael? Trevor. Man, are you for real? You're thing. fucked, you know? I, I don't know. You yes. know everything, dog. I know, okay, but... I. I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay, Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston's A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell what them both that, that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights yeah, melting it down, then maybe, the maybe both of them will pay you a visit and BAM! We turn it into a, a bust! I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. Man, you catch the same. Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. No, la madre. Yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. And also. Hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hear me with me. Man, we got a real problem, dog. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston, that punk bitch. Why didn't you say he was creeping on me? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that. Motherfucker. We creeping on that, fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. 
Now every fool in this town got somebody who want to clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. He's lining up, capping this shit, trying to take a shot at the big chick. Ain't that the truth. But ain't nobody pissed off as many motherfuckers as Michael and Trevor, dawg. Shit, nigga, you play big, you stand to lose. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Look, man, Michael and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at
me declama.
Get in and get in there, man. All right, I'm looking for it. We got a man down. What's the problem, T? Uh, officer down! I need some space here, fellas! Talk to me, T! They keep on coming out here! There's everywhere! Come on, T! Cut it out!
Looks like we did it. See, for now. Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us? Or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just got to silence a few noisy people. <laughs> what the hell are you? Let me see. There's uh, Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So Maybe. nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he's bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch, we want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa, hey, it's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're going to be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're going to have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dog. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. You might make it. Uh, yeah, I'm here. And the other one? Mm. See so you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang and Franklin's pal Stretch. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taking a show over on El Perro Pier. Shooting from it came up immediately. Shut that! I want to die, that fucker, since the moment I met him. All right, all right. I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of his known associates. All right, thanks, dog. You got it. What you got for me? Town Chick's credit card just bought a magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk ass dad. When I find Mr. Whiston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, we're good. Mr. Weston, come in. All right, we made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. Hey, Lamar, that was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> a nigga just want to be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's who. Mike on Trevor, too. He's great. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga.
The old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it now. Hey, I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after you. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and agent hates. Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who attacked us, homie. Thanks. He's all we got, man. What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. Yeah, what's the trouble that can make it? can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Ugh, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. So we'll say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. Oh, 
Wings. Hey, Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Thank you. 
Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. I'm the definition of SP. I'm the most suspicious person you'll meet. I just put down half your outfit back in town. Humans, but I know you're a reptile. You got a man down. You mess with the wrong. You man. can't hide forever. How 
much this asshole paid you! I hope it was worth it! Mr. Weston, let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. going to be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious high key issue. Michael called me Kirby, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. That's what I do. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, yes, that's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on, let me out of here. Look, I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stick and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. Screw you! Let me out of this trap! Oh, you shitbag! Pipe down! You don't want the fat man around either. This is why people want to kill you. You won't shut up. Take the money, let me down! 
My friends won't be happy if I empty a clip into the trunk. Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Good tea? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? I'll be here. <coughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Mm. Offshore? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <sighs> so now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives as friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh.